everybody. Thanks for being here to continue learning with me again today. Um, we have today's read aloud and tomorrow's read aloud. Um, and then the next day is just going to be a short kind of fun read aloud um, to say goodbye to you because remote learning is coming to an end. So um, let's push through and get these last few done. Here's the note catcher that you need for today. All right. And you've learned that the earth is made up of land, water, and air. Um, and when something harmful that does not belong on earth is brought into that land, water, or air, that is something called pollution. Say pollution. For example, if you throw trash out of the car window and onto the ground, that's called littering, and that's a type of land pollution. Okay? There's wa also water pollution and air pollution. And you're going to hear about all three um, types of pollution today. Um, before we start, um, tell someone near you, tell your family, what do you already know about pollution? Maybe you don't know anything, and that's okay, um, but maybe you know something. Talk about what you do know. All right, and then listen carefully to the read aloud to find out more about today's main topic, which is pollution. I'm going to say that again. The main topic of today's read aloud is pollution. Say that word, pollution. All right, here we go. Hi, kids. Good old earth here again. What do you notice about these two pictures? How are these pictures alike? How are they the same? But then how are they different? Hopefully you said something about how both pictures were taken on the beach, which is full of sun and sand and surf. But which of these beaches would you rather visit? The trash you see in the picture is called litter. Litter is trash that was not put in the right place. It was left on the ground or in the water instead of in the trash can or the recycling bin. What about this picture? It looks like it was taken in a park. <clears throat> There's nice green grass and there are woods in the background. Does it look like a fun place to play? Not with all that litter there. Litter is more than just ugly. It can also be harmful to animals, plants, and anything else that needs to live on land or in the water. Certain types of litter, like empty paint or oil cans, can leave toxic or poisonous chemicals in the ground, water, and air. And what's more, areas with a lot of litter tend to attract rats and other undesirable pets, pests that like to eat trash. Many of these animals will get sick from eating the litter. All right, so your first question says, why is littering bad? Why is it a bad thing? You can say it is bad because. All right, and pause that video if you need to. All right, there is a word for things that make parts of the earth dirty and hazardous. The word is pollution. Litter is a type of pollution. In this picture, you can see litter that has collected in a river. Now this litter has become water pollution. Litter is ugly and it can hurt the plants and fish and other creatures that live in and around the water. It can also make the water bad for people to drink. I hate to see all this trash in the water, but even worse is the fact that I see lots of plastic and glass bottles. And you guys know what they could have done with those plastic and glass bottles. They could have been recycled. But first, someone had to go in the boat and collect all this litter. It would be better if it hadn't been tossed in the water in the first place. All right, so take a look at this picture. It might be hard to tell in the video, but there's a city here. Can you see that city very well? Hmm, I wonder why not. Let's see. I showed you some land and water pollution, which is called litter. This picture shows the effects of another kind of pollution. Can you guess what type of pollution this is called? It's air pollution. This picture was taken during the daytime in a big American city. The city is covered in smog, which is heavy air pollution that sometimes gets so bad that it hovers or hangs around like a blanket over the entire city. Much of the smog that you see here is caused by the exhaust from cars. Um, exhaust is the, the waste or the bad air that comes out from the back of a car. So every time that you ride in a car, this um, bad exhaust is coming out and going up into the air that we breathe, okay? Uh, a way to connect this to something that's happening right now is if um, you think about this coronavirus, during this virus, we are all supposed to be staying home, right? 
and we haven't been driving in our cars as much as we normally do. And because we haven't been driving as much, there's less of this bad um, exhaust going up into the air and causing this smog. And so there's some big cities in the world that are now able to see a lot clearer because there's so much less smog. Okay, so that's one of the few good things about this virus is that um, it's helping clear up a little bit of our air pollution. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Ooh, and I almost missed a question. It says, what can happen if animals or people drink polluted water? What can happen if animals or people drink polluted water? What do you think could happen? You could say people or animals could get what? Think about it and pause the video if you need to. All right. Two of the biggest causes of air pollution are cars and factories. Look at all this smoke in the air. What do you think will happen to all that pollution? Some of it will settle for a while in the sky around the factory to form smog, but most of it will be picked up by the wind and carried to the skies over other places. Some of it will also be carried way up into the atmosphere. The high air, the air high above the earth up to where the airplanes fly. It can cause problems up there too. I'll tell you more about air pollution another time, but I just wanted to show you how yucky it can be. Okay, so this smog um, in the air can cause problems for people or for animals. What kind of problems do you think it can cause? Okay. Pause the video if you need to. Now I've shown you some ugly littered places and taught you a new word, pollution. Everyday people do things that create pollution. So what can you or anyone else do about it? I wouldn't have told you about the problem of pollution if I didn't think there was a solution or a way to fix it. A solution is something that fixes a problem and we need a solution for pollution. Okay, so who are the creatures on earth who are creating all this pollution? Is it your dog or a lion? Who's creating all this pollution? Shout it out loud to your family. Last page. Fortunately, there are lots of people in this world who know about pollution and are finding ways to reduce it as much as possible. Every day, scientists and businesses are working to make cleaner cars and factories. And every day, people all over the world, including kids like you, are doing what they can to pitch in and help reduce pollution. You are go going to learn more ways to help, but I'm willing to bet that you have a lot of ideas of your own already. Okay. So that's the end of the read aloud, but a couple more questions for you to talk about with your family. What was the main topic of today's read aloud? What was this read aloud all about? I know I told you at the beginning, but I hope you remember. Okay, and then what are the three types of pollution that you learned about today? Okay, um, for your journal prompt today, I want you to think about what might be a possible solution to pollution. Write about that with your family. And then parents, if you're interested to do a little bit more, there's a book by Dr. Seuss that's called The Lorax. You've probably heard of it. Um, if you happen to have it, you could read that with your kids today. Um, and it might possibly be on Netflix too. Okay, have a good day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.